Okay. It's gonna be a big one. It's gonna be a big one. Here we go. What's going on, guys? I'm Beard in the Hair, and welcome to the gaming new show. Something big happened this week, something massive, and something that is probably the biggest news story of the year, even though we're only halfway through January, a little bit further than halfway. This might be the biggest story of like the last five years. Who knows? But Microsoft buys Activision Blizzard. By God. Wow. Did not see this one coming. Microsoft acquires Activision Blizzard for 86. Oh, that's not right. 68.7 billion dollars. Billion with a B. This includes IPs such as Diablo, Warcraft, Starcraft, Call of Duty, Overwatch, Candy Crush, and so many more. And so many more different studios that are inside the umbrella of Activision Blizzard. This deal is supposed to finalize by the summer of 2023. But right now, everybody's kind of working autonomously. Like they, everybody's kind of just gearing up for the merger. During that time, in between from now until summer 2023, Bobby Kotick will stay a CEO till the deal is finalized. And then it's time for him to get out, which was confirmed earlier this week, which I'm really, really happy about. Oh my God. Finally, throw, throw that guy out of it. Throw him out of here. Throw him out of here. This deal is massive because now everything that comes with the deal itself can potentially come to PC Game Pass. In my opinion, will come to PC Game Pass and Game Pass for Xbox. This is where I think you'll see the Starcrafts, the Diablos, the Call of Duties, all these, oh, and Overwatch, even maybe even World of Warcraft coming to get Xbox Game Pass, for sure on PC Game Pass. The next best thing that people are discussing now is will these games become exclusive to the Xbox platform? I've heard both sides and one side that says, that's crazy. Why would Xbox throw away that much money that's on the table for shutting out PlayStation users or as an exclusivity? I'm on the other side of this. A company like Microsoft, just like in Bethesda's case, does not spend almost $70 billion not to change anything something is going to change there will be exclusives in this deal that were multi-platform i have a hot take that call of duty in 2024 will be a console exclusive or at least will be exclusive to xbox and pc instead of going to uh playstation warzone i think will always be multi-platform but that game in particular anything after 2024 i think we're gonna see some exclusivity for sure this does bring up another question though about antitrust laws i was thinking about this right when i heard the news i was thinking this might be too big xbox microsoft might be getting too big but the more that i think about it this only really affects the gaming sphere there shouldn't be really be any red flags when it comes to a, a standing in, in in the worldwide trading kind of type thing microsoft is now the third most profitable company behind Tencent and Sony, which kind of tells you that it shouldn't really be that big a problem, even though it feels like it. Tencent has way more hands and so many other pies than, than Microsoft does. Bill Spencer, among everything that happened on that day, was also promoted to the CEO of Microsoft Gaming and will be the top figurehead and all studios underneath, everybody underneath is going to be reporting to him coming in 2023. That, act, that includes all of the studios that are purchased from Activision Blizzard. I'm on the fence about this acquisition. I want the developers to stay safe and have a good workplace because for the last little while, my Activision Blizzard has been hit hard with lawsuits. They've been hit hard with uh, terrible working conditions. People have walked out in Raven Software for like QA. And I'm hoping, like a lot of people are, that Xbox coming in can do a sweeping change and start rebuilding Blizzard, Activision Blizzard itself into something that is respectable. Because right now it is not. It's, it's not a respectable place. And I think this deal is something that will facilitate it. That Microsoft can bring that in. The other thing that I am more hesitant about is, is this going to stifle creativity? Having this many studios under your one umbrella, having this much exclusivity, will it stifle something when it comes to creativity, when it comes to bringing more games to more people, that kind of type thing. I, I'm hoping that Microsoft plays the good person here and, or the good company here and actually brings these games to multi-platform. I don't think they will because, you know, you, they have 25 million subscribers over on Xbox Game Pass. 
including PC Game Pass. That is so much revenue. And this is, ever since they bought Bethesda, this is the, the, the bell that they've been ringing, is come over to the Xbox ecosystem. It's better for streaming. You're on PC, you have your phone, you have your Xbox, it doesn't matter. We have games here, we have for $15 a month, you have all of these games. Come over here, play it on our ecosystem, and just pay monthly. That is guaranteed revenue. But the biggest thing now is what, what is the response for Sony? So what is Sony going to do? They, they have that Project Spartacus that could be something, but who really knows? They just sent out a statement saying they're hoping that they adhere to all of the contracts and still bring some games that are multi-platform and keep them multi-platform. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you guys like the content on this channel, hit that sub button, share it with your friends. I stream over on twitch.tv slash beard and the hair. Come by there. We talk about all the stuff that's happening in the gaming sphere, all the news. Well, I also play a lot of uh, Soulsborne games and MMORPGs like Final Fantasy 14. We have a great community over there. If you want to come by there, twitch.tv slash beer in the hair. The link is going to be in the description. You can support me directly at patreon.com slash beard and the hair, where even just for $1, you can support me and the channel. For, for all that support, you, you put the videos up on this channel, you keep the lights on, and all the other kind of videos that are going to be coming up on this YouTube channel. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.